Hi folks, welcome to a Tech Chap tutorial video. Today we'll be looking at how to turn an old, perhaps unused hard drive into something a little bit more useful. This is a 2.5 inch hard drive from a PS4. Uh, this will also apply to the PS3 and even any other hard drives that you may have. Now this is a laptop size hard drive, that's what, that's what 2.5 inch means. A standard desktop size is 3.5 inches, but you can find uh, basically the enclosures which we'll be using for either size. But for this, this is a two and a half inch enclosure. And what that means is it basically houses this old hard drive, which until now has just been stuck in a drawer, into a USB 3 hard disk enclosure. So what that means is I can then plug that simply into a laptop or a computer, and I can use it as a huge, this is 500 gigabytes external hard drive essentially. Now there's a number of different brands you can use. So if you simply type portable hard drive enclosure into an Amazon search bar, you'll come up with a number of different products you can use, including Inatech, which is the brand we're using today, and a number of other brands if you wish to choose something else from SunVision, Anchor, and Orico. So have a look at what one is most suitable for you. They, well, they're all around eight to 15 pounds area, so it's pretty cheap and definitely a lot cheaper than buying just an external hard drive yourself, which often are about £50, £60 for a similar size uh, 500 gig hard drive. So we have the hard drive here and we have the Inertec USB 3 enclosure here. So let's unbox this quickly and I'll show you essentially how to set this all up. So in the box we have the enclosure itself and a USB 3 cable. So let's open these up. Like so. Now we need to find a way of opening this up. There should be a little gap here. Stick your fingernails in that a little bit. Right, so it's pretty simple. You can see how this is going to work. So let's open, let's get the hard drive out. Now it's important to keep hard drives in these um, anti-static bags if you have them, but don't worry if not, but it's always best to keep that for its integrity. So uh, let's open this up and I have grounded myself, so I'll be careful not to uh, short it out or anything like that. So let's get this out. And it's a simple case of popping that in here. Now you can see on the top, there's a little foam it's, it's not, yeah, I think it is foam, a uh, guard there, and also we've got another one packaged in there. So I think the good, best idea here would be to, as you can see, there's a uh, empty hole for this there, is to unstick this and place that there. And what that will do is make the whole thing a little bit more rugged. It means if you drop it or if it's banged about, then it doesn't immediately all transfer into the hard drive. It gets absorbed by the foam a little bit and is therefore a bit more safe and protects your data a bit better. So now that's in, we simply pick up the hard drive and uh, stick it facing upwards. We uh, slot that in like so. So let's uh, put the top back on. Right, so that's all sorted, excellent. So we're not quite there yet now. What we need to do is plug this in to the laptop and this will work with Mac or Windows laptop or PC. But for this video, I'll be demonstrating with a Mac. Um, so we need to plug it in to a US the USB port on the Mac. So if we attach one end to the USB port here, and the blue obviously indicates it's USB 3. So let's be really, really fast to transfer your data like so, and then we put the other end in to the laptop. I always get that wrong. There we are. Now once that's plugged in to the USB, put sure that the uh, switch is over to the on, and you'll see this blue LED light up. Now, all the brands are gonna be a little bit different. Some may not have USB, sorry, they all have USB. Some may not have LED lights or on buttons and such, but it'll all work in a pretty similar way and you should be able to work it out quite easily. So on the laptop you can see that the it says the disk inserted was not readable and basically all that means is we have to format it to be able to be uh, into a FAT32 uh, format so that 
computers, Macs and PCs can read it. If we click initialize, which is from the prompt that comes up, you can see here it says it shows the 500.11 gigabyte Intertech Media device. So that basically means it's already seen that we have the hard drive in here. So to format it, and this will be a little bit different on the PC, but it's the same process. If you uh, go through arrays, and then we need to format this to uh, MS-DOS FAT, so it's readable by most uh, laptops and desktops. I'm just going to, you can call this anything you like, I'm going to call it just FAT32 for now. And then arrays, so make sure you've already taken off everything you want from this. This is basically to put it into a brand new state uh, where we can use it as a backup drive. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. And it's pretty much as simple as that. You can see that this FAT32 uh, device has come up here. That could have been named, you know, old PS4 hard drive or uh, whatever you like to call it. So let's test it straight away. Uh, I think we're done now. So if I minimize that, the drive's here. So let's try and put some data on it. So if I drag this photo into it, there we are. So it's a very simple process. It takes a couple of minutes. Hard drive in, connect it up erase it, partition it, format it in FAT32, and you've got it. And now I have a portable USB 3 external hard drive for about £10, which otherwise would have cost me five, six times that. So if you've upgraded your PS4 or PS3 hard drive, or you have an old laptop, or you have an old desktop hard drive, don't throw them away, even if they're a bit old. This is only the uh, 5400 RPM. It's not a particularly fast hard drive, but the USB 3... Uh, makes the data transfer very, very fast, so they're not useless. Put it into an enclosure for a tenner and get a safe, rugged, and useful USB 3 external hard drive out of it. So I hope that's been useful for you guys. It's been a quick tutorial from the tech chap. Please check out my other posts and also my other YouTube videos. And if you enjoy my tutorials or reviews, please subscribe for more. Check out thetechchap.com. Cheers for watching.